conferência de imprensa com o Leandro Riedi, o grande campeão deste Indoor Players Open 2. Leandro, congrats. Uh, what an amazing week to start the new season. How are you feeling? Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the best feeling uh, to start the season like this. No, it's cool. I'm uh, very thrilled to be through uh, uh, to win that tournament and yeah, very happy. It has to be the best possible outcome for someone that misses the cut of the qualifying of Ransom to win yeah. the challenger that same week. Yeah, exactly. No, it's the best thing. I was very got it to not be in the Australian Open, but on the other hand, I was like, let's use it to play because I saw there were some challenges in Europe. For me, it's perfect. I'm from Switzerland, so it was a two-hour flight, not a 32-hour flight. So, um, of course, I was sad to miss it, but very, very happy with the with the week here. It seemed like you were the, uh, congratulations first of all, of course. Thank you. Thank it seems like you were the you, you was the better player in the beginning of the match. I don't know if you agree. Uh, you you have to set two break points in the fifth game, but then. Since the tie break, you <laughs> you you fly you fly off to to the title. But what do you think made a difference, especially in the first set? It was a tough one. Yeah, I would say the first set was very close. I mean, I had to save break points, but I was also on thirty all forty thirty. I was also there, use. But yeah, as you said, I was I had to save few break points. He didn't. Uh, but I mean, in six five, I was fifteen thirty. He played three unbelievable points, and then the tie break. It's like how tie break is. It's just one two points. And uh, I got, uh, yeah, I got, I was able to manage to uh, to hit that return winner at the set point. <laughs> and if he does an ace there, it's 7-0. So it's one or two points. And then the second set, I played a very good game in the beginning to break him. And uh, that really relieved me a bit because I had the confidence on my serve. And he started to not to have so many first serves anymore. And I used that. And uh, yeah, in the end, it was a, it was a good end to the match, yes. You were clear, clear the better player to return this serve this week. Uh, it seems like you were trying to take it early. It was the the tactic for, for for this match. Yeah, I usually try to take it early, but yeah, for him, I was definitely trying to not be afraid of his serve. <laughs> I didn't want to go all the way back because then he has more angle to serve. Uh, so that's why I was like, yeah, take it early, and uh, uh, yeah, of course, I got some aces as well, and sometimes he served body with two on it. 50. Uh, so I was sometimes struggling a bit, but I also did many good points, and so uh, that was a tactic. Yeah, you got your revenge, like like you said yesterday. <laughs> it's it's better to to win this match than the the other match in juniors, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I definitely take. If you told me five years ago I will beat him in the final in the challenger, <laughs> yes, I would have taken the. the but uh, yeah, it's nice to have the revenge. But I mean, it's been so long. And uh, for sure, we have many, hopefully we have many more battles to come. It's nice to play against him, but also very, very tough. And what can you tell us about the atmosphere? Because the stadium was packed. I, I don't know if there were your friends, but there were some guys voting for you. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know, know them, but there okay. were from this, uh, also from Zurich, from Switzerland. They came from Zurich, so it was, uh, yeah, very cool. And then they, we had a quick chat after the match, so it was very nice. And were you surprised to see the stands packed even though there wasn't a Portuguese in yeah, the final? Or? Yeah, it was. Uh, the, the crowd was very cool, it was uh, fair and I felt like I had a very good support today uh, even though I beat the Portugal guy yesterday. <laughs> uh, but no, it was, uh, it was a cool, yeah, cool energy, I loved it, it was cool. Third title for you on Challenger Tour, of course, but first since November 2022 after a tough 2023 like you said in your other press conference. So. Does it feel different this title comparing to the other two? Better or yeah, it feel, different? It feels uh, sorry. Yeah, it feels better. It feels better. It feels like I, I was really focused this week. Like of course the other the other ones were very nice and a bit surprised for me that I won that one from Qualies and then won another one. But this one I was really prepared well. I was really focused and tried to do the best as I can at it there as well. But yeah, this one feels very good because I had a very good preseason. I was very focused and uh, I was just happy I got the reward really early already and uh, I'm very happy and also looking forward for the next uh, next tournaments we're coming up but I will enjoy this one today. Mm. One year ago we had Arthur Fis winning this very same tournament and do you know what happened after? <laughs> I mean so, I, will, I will shake your hand. It was his I'll, first I'll, title as a pro actually. Wow, yeah. no, I would definitely take that. But I, I knew that already. Uh, one guy told me, Phil's won the tournament. I was like, 
<laughs> no, but yeah, no, it would be unbelievable if I had a season like Phil's, but uh, everyone has their own story, yeah. so I will focus on mine. But uh, yeah, it's a, the perfect start for the new season, but I will not get too ahead of myself. I'll try to do the best every day and uh, keep working. Yeah. What do you think is your selling? Is for top 40, uh, 40 at the moment? I don't try to compare you, you, you both, but what do you think is your selling? What you can achieve? You, you talk, uh, talk us about the top 100, but where do you think you can you can go i mean if i can stay uh, fit with no injuries which is going to be my goal a lot can happen a lot also cannot happen if i stay with the focus i have now to stay uh, to try to do the best every day i think yeah I, my goal is to be top 100 that would be very cool to start the new year in the main draw straight open that will be that would be very cool for me it's a long way um, but i'll i'll try try to make it happen but uh, yeah we'll see Before that, you have a French Open in the corner, you almost almost did something like that. The 250, I think you will be okay. on money. Uh, so it's it's another reward for you to to be in the in the slams. Of course, it's not done yet, but it's close. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, that's what we work for. Uh, the Grand Slams are the big four stuff uh, to do it. So uh, that's that's the thing we want to to achieve so uh, yeah I'm still it's still far I mean it's in May um, I have a lot of tournaments to go still but yeah it's nice but I'm not going uh, to edit myself I'm just doing uh, tournament by tournament you fancy playing on clay because we have another challenge uh, 125 actually here in 125 when in a few months in April April yeah I'm down to come uh, to come visit it of course I mean I have good experience but yeah no I, I prefer hardcore than clay <laughs> I'm not the, the favorite clay player, but it's still a, 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 it's still cool to play. But if I can choose, I'll go on indoor hard. <laughs> <laughs> Only in January. <laughs> Only in January. But no, it's fine. No, it's totally fine. But, but yeah, no, it's. I mean, it's so nice here. May, maybe I will come. But it was not the last time we see you. In no, your... definitely not. I will definitely be back here. In the, in the, oh yes. <laughs> okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you guys.